Hey guys, welcome back to Midwest Acres, and I'm going to show you how to make this old Jack Daniels bottle into this. So I'm going to so I'm going to show you the stuff you're going to need to use. Of course, you're going to need a bottle of Jack. Hopefully, Mr. Jack Daniels doesn't get mad at me. I don't think he would. But we're going to use a, a bottle of Jack. You're going to need. A drill, cheap cord, a lamp socket, a little piece of wood, carbide bit, a bigger bit than a carbide bit, some Gorilla Glue, a pair of linemen, strippers for wire, electrical wire, thin screwdriver, big Hermit Monster screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and of course, a lampshade. I bought that uh, at the hardware store. It was cheap. Picked that up yesterday. But that's all you're going to need. Oh, and a little bit of water. I'll show you why. Let's start off with this piece of wood. This piece of wood is basically a garbage piece of wood I had, I found. I'm gonna make a bigger hole than the carbide bit that I bought. It's for glass. I'm gonna make a bigger hole so this bit could go through. So I'm gonna use this guy to make a bigger hole. So the red bit, the carbide bit could fit through. So basically this guy here, he's gonna be my template. So he's gonna be a guide for me cutting it through the glass. All right guys, so I got the blue tape around. I'm gonna hold it gently. Got a little bit of water, a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of water here. A little bit on the bit. And I'm gonna start drilling really slowly. Stop it. I'm going to put some more water. This guy's almost done. So, made my hole, and I'm going to show you how perfectly cut the hole is. Now, I'm sure there's probably other ways to do this. This is my way. Here's the hole. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you the electrical part. You want to grab your, your cord, your extension cord, you got your male end and your female end. You want to cut the female end off, cut it off like that. You want to grab your bottle and you want to fish it in. You know, it can be, this might be kind of tricky, but you just got to try to fish it in. Try to straighten out the cable here. Try to get it through the hole. And 
it's almost out. There it goes, just like that. Now I'm going to show you the connection part next step. All right, guys. So the next step is grab your uh, your, your uh, lamp holder, pocket holder, push it through the wires. Get that ready. Now you want to strip these these uh, wires here. These strippers or a pair of line bins, whatever you want to use. Put the strands together so they're so they're together. Not floppy. Grab your socket. Pull the head off. Find the terminals. You got a neutral and a hot. It doesn't matter on a lamp. It really doesn't matter. Uh, put it in the terminal. Like so. Try to loosen it up. Now when you put it in a terminal, you always want to put the wire going the way that you turn the screw. So clockwise, you turn the screw clockwise. Put, it in the, put the wire in the direction you're turning the screw. This guy in here. It's really simple to do. Put in the, ter the screws in your terminals here. You got to put your insulator cover right over the terminal block, then the decorative metal part, and then you get your end cap, your base, and you put it in, squeeze it in there. Normally they're tight fit, but they go in just like that, and there you go. Then, you put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on the bottom of the base here to hold it in place. And you're all set to go. I'll show you a finished product soon. Please subscribe, Midwest Acres. Leave a comment, tell me what you think, press the like button. Hell, do all of the above. God bless. Thank you for watching.